The Bassmaster Elites made a monumental historic division by removing entry fees for the 2025 Elite Series. We're going to talk about some of the negatives and also positives that happen with this massive news. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor. Click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team. And let me just say thank you to all the people who are constantly interactive on the channel. They comment. They text me. They do all of it. I so appreciate it. I appreciate all the new subscribers, all the members, and everyone who comments nonstop. So thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, you should be. Just click that button and welcome to the team. Now, I have recorded this three times and edited it three times. And every time I finish it and say I'm going to post this today, in your case, because it's late in the night, I get someone that texts me a little bit more on how they feel. I also get to read your comments and then gauge what you guys are feeling like. Now today, or yesterday, Bassmaster has announced that there'll be no entry fees for the 2025 Bassmaster Elite Series. There will be no more pay to play, which is amazing news, but where there's good news, there's bad news, unfortunately. And the bad news is, is that the payouts are absolutely horrible. Unfortunately, we can't have it both ways. We either have no entry fees and the payouts get lower, or we have entry fees and then we keep hearing the bitching and the complaining from the anglers. It can't be both ways. It's just unfortunate that that's how it is. There isn't enough money brought in for bass to continue paying anglers in, that come in 50th $10,000 if there's no entry fees. And while I am absolutely completely excited about having no entry fees, I think the payouts suck. I try not to say that word. I think the payouts are horrible. And the very few anglers that have texted me and contacted me, most of them, 90% of them, agree the payouts are horrible. I saw a couple people that posted online on their social media of how much they made last year in 2024 and if they had the same results in 2025, what their payouts might be or what their breakdown would be. Drew Benton did one that I really appreciated. Drew said he made, when it was all said and done, $63,000 in 2024. Now this isn't, this is his entry fees and his tournament winnings. If he had the same exact results in 2025, he would make $36,850. Now, remember, in 2024, he actually took out his entry fees out of his total winnings, and he would have made, and he did make, $63,000. And while there's no entry fees next year, he makes almost half the amount that he made this year. And there's other people who have made that same mathematical choice and said, look, this is what I would have made this year versus what I would have made next year if I had the exact same results. So while it's really positive and great to have no entry fees, we couldn't have it both ways. We can't have the same amount of payouts. But I think the, the entry fees really help that middle bottom tier angler, whereas the upper tier anglers really didn't worry about entry fees because they're consistent, winning a lot of money, and it's just part of the process of what they do. Whereas the bottom anglers who are not doing well with sponsors and not doing well cashing them a check on a regular basis. The entry fee probably helps them the most. But when you look at the whole grand scheme of it, does it help the upper eight anglers? Probably not at all. Does it help the upper, upper middle tier anglers? Probably not at all. That middle bottom tier angler is probably happy with the no entry fees where the guys who are consistently cashing a check and doing well and competing and in the have the possibility of winning are probably really unhappy because they are going to take a pay decrease. And I've seen, I, I, I'll give Randy some props here. He's talked and heard from some anglers. So is a lot of people. There's a lot of unhappy anglers right now. And I don't know if this is a band-aid to what Bass didn't do during this off season. And by that, I mean they did no changes technically with forward-facing sonar. It makes no sense. They they cut down the screens, cut down the transducer. It it really didn't hurt any anglers. It probably saved them a little bit of money, but it didn't hurt anyone. It's the same going to be the same thing. 
they have they're going back to hopefully making a really good season they talk about their viewership numbers being up i i don't know how they how they do that and i'll throw in a one little thing that i looked up i've done a lot of searching on that one myself but i don't think the viewership numbers are up but this is about the entry fees and while it's great news for some anglers it's really bad news for a lot of anglers and there are a lot of unhappy people and like i said i'm not sure this is going to work and I, i'm not really sure how long this can go on for because major league fishing in the bass pro tour did it for one or two years and it couldn't work where does bass think they can do it now how does bass think they can do it i can tell you one thing they're not going to not take anything off the table and by that i mean you'll probably never see a ban of forward-facing sonar because that money that's generated from income from the forward-facing sonar technology businesses they need that even more they need that more now than ever and making a drastic change and eliminating something that is presently bringing in income they're just not going to make that decision and while i think that bass really was hurt this year i don't think bass was on top of their game i think with all the the rookies that came in i think with all the complaining and bitching i think all the forward-facing sonar stuff that went on i think the all the things that went on with bass bass was second place in the grand scheme of professional bass fishing i think they have the biggest platform i think they have the best group i think they'll get back to being number one but my opinion is is that major league fishing and the bass pro tour didn't have as much drama this year and i thought the team trail really boosted major league fishing this year but these anglers on the elites now have either love or hate this decision and the more and more the longer it goes as i do these videos like i said i've done it three times the more i hear from anglers that don't like this decision and that surprises me because i think if we take away the entry fees it finally puts these anglers as a sport and not a hobby and not a gambling establishment because you gamble by putting your money in and competing against some of the best anglers in the world and you're gambling that five thousand dollars hoping that you can cash a check and now next year if you have 40th place you're going to win five hundred dollars and that is awful not to mention if you look at the classic the classic always brought in ten thousand dollars per angler now it looks like it's twenty five hundred dollars per angler and that payout is for 2026 i should mention that these anglers have always been very they always relied on sponsorships and they still will rely on sponsorships in the future but we need to take away pay to play and while i love the idea the anglers don't so what do you think comment below and tell me what you think thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button make sure you take a kid fishing get your fish on i'll talk to you soon thank you cheers and tight lines